All right, welcome to another CAN diagnostic video. Today's series is going to continue with the very basic reading and writing of EE problems with different uh, different VCIs, different modules. Today, we're going to be using the CARPROG. All we're going to do in this ECU is we need to copy another ECU's data into this one as the other ECU's knackered. So what we're going to do, we'll take it over to the computer and we'll uh, get started. Okay. So, obviously we want to open up CarProg. Click Agree, and we want to go to the left hand side up here. Click EEPROM, upload the data, and in the top left hand corner, here we're going to choose the EC, the E problem that we've got, um, and I can't remember which one it is. So two six. Okay, so it is a ninety three C eighty six. Looks so like we click the top left hand corner with the hammer and the spanner. We're going to find ninety three C eighty six, and we're going to click read verify, and then OK. Right now we've loaded. See up here where the uh, cursor is. This is the this is the EEPROM data chip we want. So the first one we've got is open. If we've got any um, EEPROM bin files that we want to open, we we'll click that. Next one is save. Third, what? Well, the fourth one in is read. So if we click that, it's going to read the EEPROM that we've got connected with the adapter to CarProg. Verify. Okay. Okay. So this is the data we're looking at. And then we go to the next one across. This one is going to be to write. So in a minute, we're going to use this to write the new file across. Next one is going to, this just verifies the file, makes sure everything's good after we've wrote to it. Next one, the one with the, uh, the eraser on top of the chip, that's going to erase. And then the final one, the X going over to the Y is to invert the data. Some manufacturers have the data on the chip inverted, so literally click that and it inverts it to uh, the way we need. Right, so we've got this is the old information, we don't need this. So, what we're going to do is we're going to open and we're going to look for the file that we need. Right, so I don't know where we've got two files interrupted, but we need to. I'm going to open up the file that we need, which is this one, and then we're going to click on write, which is the one with the, the lightning going through the chip. In it, in it, write it, right. Okay, so our new information is on this ECU. Just going to verify it one more time. Okay, and then what I always do is just I'm going to read this chip again. So we're going to go back to this arrow pointing upwards and just make sure that this data, if we look at some data here, these three dots and an E, we'll make sure that when we read again, it's going to come up with that same information to make sure that it has actually wrote to the old EEPROM. Okay, and as we see, it's identical. So this this is this one done. Um, I will be doing more in depth tutorials on CarProg along with KTag, XProg, iProg, Galetto, etc., etc. Um, but for the minute, we we'll just stick with the basics. Um, we've got a basic one coming up on iProg and Galetto before before I tested the smoke seals in that one. Um, so I've got to repair that. Waiting for a new. Um, voltage regulator to come for the Galetto but the iProg one should be coming soon. Thanks again. Ta-da!